Alright, welcome back to the Creating a 5M Framework. Uh, this time we're going to be working in our, uh, I guess it's more like a weather and a time sync, just to make sure everyone is on the same thing. Uh, we already got a FX manifest, so we're going to create our folder for client and for cl underscore weather. Now, uh, the Git repository might be changing, uh, but it sort of depends. So a couple things we were gonna want is gonna have a current uh, current weather, and our weather is gonna be um, extra sunny. That's gonna be our current weather. So our basically our starting weather. Um, so we're gonna have a local last weather. Oops, weather equals current weather. So that's going to be our current weather and we're going to set our current weather to basically change and then last weather is going to take that over uh and sort of that's just how it goes and then we'll have a local time so we'll set this to zero as default uh local time offset uh, we're also going to set this to zero we're going to do a local timer uh, set this to zero and local freeze, oops, freeze. And we're gonna set freezing equal to false, which is like snow, I guess. Um, and local disable. We're gonna set disabled to false. Um, so, where did it go? Oh, sorry, I had the semicolon, so I'm coding in C++. Okay, but uh, then we're going to do a register net event in here. Uh, we're going to call this mp weather client. Uh, oh, I guess, no, this is uh, mp base colon login, login player. Yes. Uh, so this one, the player's going to get logged in. We're going to have to call this. We might change this name, but add an event handler. Right here, it's going to be a function. Function. Just like so. Let me make sure I'm not ending my thing by anything. So in here, we're going to put disable to false. And then we're going to do a trigger server event. And in here is going to be our mp weather server uh, sync. So this is what we're going to sync for the player. Um, I'm going to copy this down here. We're going to change these. We're just going to backspace all these. Uh, and then mp weather. Uh, and we're going to enable the sync right here. So inside, uh, let me add this for the end. And inside, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to call disable equal to false. Well, false one more time. Uh, we're going to trigger our request sync. So it's going to be the same thing right here. So we're going to trigger this. And then we're going to set, uh, I think it's set rain fx intensity negative 1.5 so now we're going to disable the sync which is basically uh it just sets a persistent weather and time basically um so i'm gonna copy these down one more just like this mp weather colon client colon disable disable sync just like so and and okay now inside of here we're going to do our disable to equal to true because this is where it is going to get frozen and then we're going to add a um you know i'm going to start doing it like this create thread of function and then we could end here and then we could do a while disabled do and we're going to set rain effects oops copy this paste this down while this we're going to set it to exactly zero 
uh, zero, just like that. Uh, we're gonna set weather persistent. So set weather type persist, uh, which is gonna equal our extra sunny, which I wanna put in here directly. Um, oops, that E is looking a little off. Um, then we're gonna set set weather uh, type now, which is also gonna be extra sunny. So we're setting the weather now and set weather type now persist. And what did you guess? The same. And network. What is it? Network over ride clock time. I think it's 23, 2300. 0, 0, and I think that makes it midday. I'm going to have to test that. It might not make it midday, but I don't know. Uh, and then we're going to add a weight of 5,000. And we could end this off just like so. All right. So now when we're getting a sync time, let me just go copy and paste these. Uh, so disabled, and we're going to sync uh, time sync. Do time sync. And end this. OK. So in here, we do basically a freeze equals 0. Or I guess freeze equals freeze. Uh, uh, I guess we could do a different. Maybe we should do a different handle. Um, time. Time frozen, I guess, equals freeze. Uh, time, oops, time offset equals. Ooh, I forgot to add uh, the functions. So we're gonna have our. Uh, I guess we're gonna have our time. So we're gonna have our default time. Uh, we're gonna have default time, right? Uh, we're gonna have our offset, and then we're gonna have a our freeze that is gonna put it pass through. So our freeze, this is going to be our offset. And then we're going to have a um, default time, which we already set to. Why is it a capital T? Why is it a capital T? So time equals to a freeze. Oh, dude, I'm adding so many semicolons by accident. Um, so same thing, sort of with weather. We're just going to copy, paste it down. Uh, time sync, we're going to do weather weather sync um in here we're basically going to get our new weather and uh that's it we're just getting new weather and we're basically doing our current weather so current weather equals to new weather just like that and that's just going to set it i probably should zoom in more i just realized for you guys uh so my bad if uh that was doing a thing so then we're going to create a thread here uh, this is going to be a function in here. Um, so we're going to end this. So we'll do a local hour equals zero. Local min equals zero. While, tr oops, while true do. So while we're true, uh, we're going to do if, if not disable, then uh, local default time equals to time I believe that's how we're gonna do it no no oh we need a new time my bad my bad so it's not default time it's new time equals to our default time that's what it is equals to our default time and then we're gonna do if game or not if get game timer, so we're grabbing the game timer minus 500 is higher than our timer, then uh, what we're gonna do here is our new time is then equal to new time plus 0 0.25. Timer then equals our get game timer, just like this. We're gonna end this off and then we do it if freeze time. So if freeze, no, 
Yes, if freeze, then what we're gonna do here is time offset equals to time offset uh, plus our uh, plus our time. Oops. Hold on. Let me rethink this. Uh, plus our time. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That was right. Plus our time. And then minus our new time. So our, minus our new time. Yes. And that should... Good, it should be good. All right, then we're gonna have our time equal to our new time. And then our hour is gonna equal a, a math.floor. And inside here, we're gonna do a couple of these. Uh, this is gonna be oops, time plus time offset. Um, all that divided by 60 because that's gonna be the hours and then we're going to modulo by 24 uh, because that's hours and days. Um, so we're going to do sort of things with min. Do we already have minutes set? We should, right? No. No. So min equals the same thing, math.floor. And same thing here. So we're going to do our time plus our time offset. All that divided, or not divided. Uh, all that modulo by 60. Whoops, this and this. So all that modulo by 60, then we're gonna do our net work override clock time with our hour and our min, uh, and then zero. And then we could wait, so we're gonna wait a 2000. We could end this, oops, oh my god, end. And uh, or mm, if not disabled, okay. Wait, 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 let's add a else if disabled. Then we could just do the same thing of wait two thousand, and then it would recheck, and then we could end and end just like that. And lastly, we just got to do our weather. So we're gonna do a couple of basically the same thing. Create thread with a function inside the function, and just like this. And now we're gonna do a while true do and then if not disabled then and then if last weather uh, equal current weather then our last weather equals our current weather and then we're gonna set our weather set weather type over time to be our current weather and then 15 Let me scroll down a little bit and then we're going to basically wait so we set it to 15 and we're going to wait that exact thing so uh 15 000 milliseconds is uh correct here and then we're going to end end we're going to add another wait uh and this is basically a check so we're going to do 100 here uh two, two, Mm -mm -mm. let's see let's see let's see yeah so we're waiting 100 then we're going to clear uh override weather weather so we're clearing override weather so uh now it could be any weather basically and then we're going to clear weather type persistent persistent yes so we're clearing that and we're going to set weather type uh we'll set weather type persist where's it it's persist right here and we're gonna basically put this to last weather and then we're gonna set weather type now uh and that's also is gonna be last and then we're gonna set our weather type now persist which is gonna be last weather as well um do -do 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 And then I guess we could add a Christmas theme as well. So if last weather equal equals to, I don't know, uh, Christmas meme. <laughs> then, uh, actually, is this, this might not be Christmas. 
might be default what GTA's is. Okay, we're putting we're putting it Christmas anyways. I'll rename that. I'll rename it if it is. Uh, set force. Uh, vehicle trails. We're gonna set this to true because then it imprints into the snow. Then we're gonna set forced head with steps tracks. True. Uh, we're gonna copy these. And or whoops, I got else. Uh, false. And. And then we're gonna do a else. So if it is disabled here, and we're gonna add that same, we're gonna do a weight of 2000. And, and then we're all good. And that is the client side for our weather. And I will see you on the next, which most likely gonna be server side. Uh, I might actually change some of these to exports as well, or uh, add a command for an export so we could change the weather for admin purposes. Other than that, thanks for watching.